If I had to choose one tool out of all the apps that I use that I couldn't live without on my computer for my daily work, I would definitely say it's my text expander text replacement tool. On this video, I'm going to show you text blaze that's going to save you a ton of time every single day. So if you're not using one, definitely check this one out. So let's go check it out right now. What's up everyone? This is Text Blaze. And basically, if you don't have a text expander, text expansion tool right now, definitely jump the gun on this one. Now, the link we provided in the description, or you can go ahead and grab it from the Microsoft Store or grab it for a browser extension. Now you can use Text Blaze anywhere on Windows. So let me give you a quick example of how it can expand text with Text Blaze. So let me show you here. This is a Windows app, which is OneNote. And if I add a command, Boom, I've expanded text. Or what if I'm in WordPad? Again, I'll use a command, which is this one. Or how about this command, which adds my email? And that's by, that's by TextBlaze. So the idea is to use TextBlaze for this purposes. Now, let me get started with what TextBlaze can do. So first of all, we're gonna get started with the basics, okay? So the basic thing is that it can replace a text or input a text with a short code or a shortcut in this case. For example, if I type this shortcut, it's going to add this. So this is a document that I can use anywhere on my computer and I can use text place anywhere. For example, I'll say test sick and boom, it adds it there. Now you might say, you know what? Eh, nothing fancy about that. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get this tool just because it does that, even though it could save you a ton of time. Well, it can do a whole lot more. Here's the demo style. I'm going to go through these first and then I'm going to show you the more advanced features. All right. So this one can replace text, but it can also do the colors, underline, bold, etc. So if I type in style, boom, it's right there. How easy or how hard is it to create these text expansions? Well, you just have to create a new one right here and write the information right here and it's going to do it. Now let's do one with commands. So let's try this one, the D8 one, and this one is going to input the date inside of here automatically. So that means that I don't have to come back to the text that I pasted or expand it with a text place to add the date. In this case, it's going to automatically add it in these fields. So let me give you an example. So let's try it right here. Boom. Here it is. Today is July 11th, 2024 and July 11th or another date type. It's giving you different examples because this is an example, right? So that's really useful, right? The next one, for example, demo cursor. That means that I can expand the text and then place my cursor in that certain section. So in this case, the cursor is going to finish right here. So I can finish off writing something manually if I needed to. All right. So for example, this one is cursor. There we go. And it stopped right there. So if I start typing, it's right there. So instead of ending over here, it ended in the middle. So it automatically placed the cursor in that section. So that's really useful, right? Another one that I created manually is this one. One of the things I've all, I'm always typing every single day is my email. Either I'm logging in, I'm giving someone my email, etc. So I created this one twice. Boom, email. I don't have to type it in. I don't have to make the mistake of typing it in. If that's my PayPal email, I know I'm not going to make a mistake because I'm not typing in it manually. I know it's going to be OK because it's expanded by text blaze. So it's super, super useful. I use this for my email, for links, or, for example, I always hate typing this, that. So if I type HTTT, which I'm not going to say a word with that, it's going to automatically expand that. And let me give you an example. I'll create one really quickly. So here's the new expander. In this case, if I type HTT, it's going to write the rest of it. All right. So let me give you an example. HTTPS. And here we go. So if I'm going to write a link or something like that. I'll just type HTT and then continue with the domain. Now, that's really useful, right? Next is the demo form. So in this case, there's several input fields right here that can be typed in manually. So let me give you an example. So I'm going to say form. Boom. Let's just say I'm in customer service and I'm reporting tickets or whatever. This is super useful because I have a template of everything that I need to write without having to write it manually or copying every single one of these elements and then writing them. For example, the customer is, I don't know, in this case, Jorge, which is me. A customer bought 25, blah, blah, blah. And there we go. We can go ahead and insert it that way. But what if this was for customer service? I can add the report ticket, the purchase ticket. So I have it there. 
the data was inputted, the information that I'm requesting, and I have to write so little to give customer support. I don't have to write every single thing because I mean, just having this copy and paste and then copying this other thing and doing it manually is super time consuming. So someone is who is in customer service, having this tool is going to save them a ton of, ton of time. So do consider this. All right. Now, when it comes to more advanced features, you're going to drop your jaw with this one. All right. So if I go to create a new snippet here again, and I'm just going to say um, do plus plus for this one, just for testing purposes, we can go ahead and rename it that. All right. Now in commands, you won't believe how many commands there's available to really customize this. You have date, you have clipboard, you have place cursor, which you saw these already. Text field where I can type in, like you saw in this past example. Paragraph field, drop down menus. So, if you, for example, if you're always using a customer code, for example, or you have several customer codes, you have the drop down field already so you can select it. All right. So, it's super easy. Toggle field, date and time field, click element, key press. Key press is so useful. I'm, I'm gonna write one for you right now. All right. So let's just say that I'm always logging in. So let's do login here for ChatGPT. I need to type in my email. So let's go ahead and do that here. There we go. Okay. Now let's add a command here. So it clicks. Here we go. Key press. And it's gonna be enter. Right. Now let's try it right here really quickly plus plus and it clicks enter and then it jumps to this section with the password but it doesn't stop there what we want to do is give it a little timeout because sometimes pages take longer to load and it's not going to work if it just straight off uh, types in the, the password so we're going to go into command we're going to go into wait and then wait we're going to say uh, two seconds but you got seconds and minutes right here okay let's go ahead and insert it and then we're just going to say that this is the password all right and then again, we're going to use the command here for key press. And in this case, it could be enter space, depending on how you want to uh, configure this for the login for certain pages. In this case, enter works. So it's going to type my email. It's going to hit enter. It's going to delay two seconds, type the password and then hit enter. All right. So here we go. Wait two seconds, password and enter. Obviously, it's not the correct password, but you saw how that worked. All right. That's super useful, right? Now let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's go into commands. You got click elements, which work in Chrome. You got the weight, which you saw right now. You got formulas. Formulas, I mean, this is some pretty advanced stuff. If you click inside of formulas, you got mathematical formulas, text functions, list functions, and a lot of functions based on formulas. This is super advanced stuff. I mean, you really need to take, take some time to uh, figure this one out, configure it. And once you do, you're going to be amazed on what you can do. You also have conditional logic again, super useful tool. It could be math mathematical text functions. So if it's hypercase, if it's lowercase, if it's more than a hundred in this case, it'll do the expansion. If, if it's not, then it won't expand it. It won't add the rest of the section that you select here. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how good that can be. All right. <clears throat> then you got read from table. So use data from a table. In this case, we can start scraping things from tables with this insert roles in tables, update table roles, delete table row, etc. Import snippets if you need to do that notes, websites and command packs. So you can get command packs that people are already working in, for example, for Gmail, LinkedIn, capitalize, for example, capitalize everything randomized. So these are the ones that people are already working in at work. So for example, you can check these out with com, but trust me, if you don't have a tool like this, get text place. All right. It's going to save you a ton of time every single day. And once you start using this, you start finding out other use cases where you can implement this, and then it becomes even a more addictive tool. Like I said, this is a tool I use daily in my business, in my day to day and I couldn't live without this tool, right? So definitely check it out. I'll be leaving the link in the description and that's a wrap.